was reading this story the other day and I thought I'll tell it to you and this story is going to be entertaining and it's going to be funny I hope as well. It's a folk tale day. Hello, it's Braggy. I am indeed a Viking. We love a good story on this channel, so don't go, don't click away. This is going to be entertaining. Now today, as you can see, I am dressed as a Viking. I am indeed a Viking storyteller. And the story today is about some men from Essex and the well. Now, it's just by chance I was going off in this direction with my bucket to go to my well and it reminded me of the story and this story is an old medieval story from those very old days oh, when people suffered and times were hard and we didn't have the life we have today and our story like I said is from Essex a wonderful wonderful county I was reading this story every day and I thought I'll tell it to you and so a long time ago as I said in those days of the Anglo-Saxons as I put my bucket down and the days of the Vikings, there lived some men. And they lived in a, a small village in Essex, a wonderful county. And it was a very hard and hot year. In fact, it was a year of drought, for all the streams and the rivers locally had run dry. And I'm sure you agree, not a good situation to be in. And so all the wise men of the village and some of the women too were very wise came along to a meeting in the great big hall they had a big hall an old hall and they all sat round the hearth the fireside for fires were always lit to cook and boil food and to cook your dinners and this was hall belonged to the jarl of the village an older man a wise man with a big beard and little hair on his head and he says, whoa, we must do something about this drought, for if we don't, we will soon run out of water. And although, yes, they had some local springs, but even those springs were drying up in this very hot summer. I'm sure you agree, we, today we take water for granted when you can just turn on a tap. But in those days, long houses and halls did not have plumbing, did not have taps for water to come out of. And so you had to go and get your bucket and you have to go and fill it every day, a dozen times or more, to get your water you needed. And you had to boil your water. And so the men, these wise men, decided, you know, and the women decided, what are we going to do about it? And one by one, you know, they all stood up. There's a man called Half Dan and said, well, let's go and buy some water. And well, the, the village older said, that's ridiculous. He said, what we need to do? And he stood up and said, we need to build a wall. And so this is what they did. First of all, they went out into the nearest wood and they chopped down a load of ash trees and some oak. And then they got the logs and they split the logs and they made planks and they planed the planks down with all the wooden tools and the planes and the adze and the axes they had. And then they got the horses and carts and they moved all those planks and all the wood and the wooden posts they have made. Well you just cannot just go and make a wall, you've got to prepare. And so first of all they did that. And after a few days of hewing wood and chopping wood and they even dug a big pit where they could saw wood planks better and more flatter they had enough wood and they started to dig a well and decided they, they kind of argued about where we we're going to dig the well one man said oh, in, in my front garden in my, outside my longhouse and he said well we're not having that we'll have it in the center of the village for well, in the village they got a small green and sometimes once a week they had a market normally a Tuesday and you know it wasn't a market day to day though and so the villagers in the green of the village all around you can imagine it all the long houses spread out and there was look at they even had a, a, a mead hall where people could go and stay like an inn today and so the men started to dig down and the women they prepared food and looked after the men and even some of the women started to dig as well because everybody was needed as I tried to scratch my head <laughs> To dig a hole and you, you just can't dig a big hole you got to start putting planks and, and and posts and dig down and dig down and put more you know planks and posts and and protect the sides from caving in and eventually after digging 
oh, a good 30 metres of very, very deep roll, it began to fill with water. It filled with water and they had lots of ladders and they took the ladders apart as they climbed back up and the roll became full and they had a good source of water. And they had a mechanism on top where they could wind down a bucket. And some time passed. And then one day one of the villagers saying, what are we going to do about this big heap of soil which was left in the green of the village? A massive mound, I'm sure you agree. It wasn't a small hole either, it was at least two metres wide. So it was a very big and long job to take on. But the soil they dug out had to go somewhere. And so they just left it in a big heap. And it did look like a massive burial mound. And after a while it started to grow weeds and nettles and flowers and of course in the old days weeds they called medicine and some of them were useful but of course it was still very ugly and there was an eyesore and all the villagers were getting upset about it so again they had to get together and form a plan what we're we gonna do as my bucket falls over in the wind spooky and uh, the older the man with the white beard wearing some very fine clothing because he had coin and he had a great big hall he lived in he said well I don't know we all got to come up with ideas well one man you know saw Co at the back hello can we um, go and dump it on the neighbours what do you mean and so Thor Co stood forward a very old viking and said well what we do we're going to get our trousers and we're going to tie them off at the bottom and we're going to fill the trousers with soil and then one by one we're going to walk to the nearby village over there you know the ones we don't like and we'll, we'll just spread it about that their roads and their path and in their village and well the older of the village said we can't do that that will cause problems and they'll get upset and besides they're smarter than us so that idea was thrown out of the uh, slatted window and then another man said well, why don't we sell it it's got to be worth something you can't sell soil said another man stood up shaking his fist what you think you are he was a trader and did not want to be selling soil and they do say in the viking times that soil in scandinavia was very important because of the lack of decent soil which is the whole entire subject oh yes and we love history but let's carry on in this wonderful story and so another man stood forth and said well there's a there's an old old stream down there we could just fill the stream in and another man said, well, my, my farm's on that land and it irrigates my fields. You can't do that. So that window was thrown out of the door. Or not the window, the idea. And another man said, well, we could burn it. Burn it on the forge. And the blacksmith said, you're not doing that. That will ruin my forge. And so after some time, another person came up with an idea. was saying, well, why don't we get a, a ship, a, you know, a boat, and we could put it, we could fill a boat and sail it down the river and get rid of it. And it would be somebody else's responsibility. And the carpenter came forward and says, have you seen the size of that mound? We'll need at least three long ships or long boats. That idea was gone and thrown out. And again, they was all quarrelling. Two men got in a fight because they had both had the same idea. I want to go put it in somebody's longhouse, we don't, you know, it's empty, we don't need it. And the other man said the idea, well, I think we should put it in what's the name of longhouse. And they both quarrelled about the same idea, I came up with that first. And of course, the older, the jar of the village, a man with a white beard and a little bit of hair on his head, or noggin, said, well, that's another daft idea. And in the end, they all decided on what idea. And can you guess what the idea is? And what they did to get rid of this massive mound of soil? If you can, leave, your, leave it in a comment, your guesses, because I'd love to read them. The next day they got together, because they could not decide that night. And again they had another meeting. And this time, old Thorko, the wise old Viking, he was often said to be the oldest Viking in the village. He said, I know what. We'll go to that field over there and we'll dig a hole and we'll just bury it. And the older village stood up and said, that's the best idea we've had, we're doing that. And that is what they did with the unwanted soil. They dug a hole, made another pile of soil, and got the other soil and filled the hole back in. A funny, funny thing. And this is, of course, a jocular tale. And jocular basically means funny, or a story with a theme of humour. And it is a funny story to think about some people dig digging a hole, getting some soil, and then digging another hole to bury the first soil. If you have liked this video, 
if you found it entertaining, then please go and smash that like button. Get out your hypothetical axe or sword, boop it, smash it, click it, whack it, whatever you want to do. Just don't break your phone because I'm not responsible. And the second thing you could do for us, and the most important thing you could do for the channel, is to go and share our videos. Yes, by sharing our videos, by talking about it with your friends, by telling your auntie and your uncle and, and your friends down at your pub, your bar, or you just, if you go play snooker, tell, tell, your, tell all your snooker mates, you know, if, if you're studying GCSE history, tell all your friends at school, watch this, watch this channel because we are very entertaining and we do educate. And a little bit of a bonus end now, I'm just going to talk about what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a Thor's hammer made of silver and I'm wearing another Thor's hammer to represent my role because I've got lots of beads. And on top of that, I'm wearing a silver ring. Here. Goodbye. It's a neck ring. My, my mind went blank for a minute there. And of course, I've got a helmet on which protects my old head. But I must say, when you're turning a video and you want to scratch your head, it's a bit difficult. <laughs> so, goodbye from me. Thank you.